So here's a thought. Profit is not profit unless it's in the bank account. My name is Jacques Tanyar, this is Pretier Accounting Services. Welcome to my channel. On this channel, if you're new, you'll, find, you'll usually find uh, videos on how to run a business and explanations of topics of accounting and tax uh, from a South African economy. So today's topic is cash flow. Now, profit isn't profit until it's in the bank. That's a saying that I've heard that's quite applicable to cash flow in general for the very simple reason that profit if it's not in the bank means it's in your debtors and you can still write off debtors which reduces your profit and eventually reduces your equity and all of those kinds of things so profit is only profit once it's in the bank which means profit is only profit when it is in in, in cash when you actually have the cash for it so what does that mean does that mean that profit in general in the profit videos that I've done before up here I believe or, or this, uh, this side um, I believe is those videos are they then valid is that profit still a thing is that profit still applicable in short yes um, because the financial reporting standard says profit is your difference between your incomes and your expenses but from a business point of view, if you want to make money, if you want to make sure your business is healthy, you're looking at cash flow. Why? Cash is king, right? So cash being king is, it controls everything. Your company could essentially be technically solvent, technically liquid, but if the company doesn't have enough cash to pay, pay its short-term dues, if there's not enough cash to pay the suppliers when they become due, the company is technically insolvent. Um, for all for all intents and purposes, or practically insolvent. And that puts the company in a very difficult situation. It causes all kinds of um, you know, all kinds of new penalties and interest and bad reputation and bad relationship with your suppliers and all of that, which is not good to start with. Um, well it's not a good place to be in so your cash flow is a very important topic for that and as a result that should be where your where, where a lot of businesses should focus on um, I want to just qualify that for that statement just for a moment and say that cash is not the be-all and end-all of a business but it's a very integral and very important part of what's going on in a company so from from a cash point of view what are you looking at where do you get your information now I've mentioned before the cash flow statement now there's typically three topics of cash uh, or, or three sections of the cash flow statement cash generated from your operations cash generated from your um, investing activities and cash operated from your financing activities now operations sales cost of sales basic operations um, debtors, creditors, you know, how you go about your daily business. Now, for a lot of people, operations is a major part of their daily life. For a lot of businesses, operations is the primary function that is your business. Your investing activities, that's where you build your balance sheet. That's where you're looking at in my video on assets. Your investing activities is where you you grow your assets, where you build, you you invest in more assets. So your investing activities, um, typically when you purchase a vehicle, purchase a property, purchase equipment, software, and all of that. When when looking at your your financing activities, that's where you get your money from, right? So your financing activities could be from generating long-term loans um, get generating a motor vehicle finance or that that's the biggest section of your your non-current liabilities if I can refer back to my video on liabilities so those three will tell you where your cash flow goes but or, or what happened and where your cash flow came from and where it went but 
the cash flow statement is usually just a financial statement and that's a once in a year report usually in your management accounts your cash flow statement is usually broken down into what is known as a cash flow statement and a cash flow forecast now the cash flow forecast in my video about budgets I've mentioned when you can start taking a look at your cash flow forecast and how to go about looking at your cash flow forecast the cash flow forecast basically break down a forecast of cash that you will receive and cash that you will pay um, spend and from that point of view the cash flow forecast will warn you on where your your risky areas are going to be um, but in order to do a proper cash flow forecast you need a good budget right so a cash is king profit is only profit once it's in the bank and petty cash is a very you know, physical cash um, currency that's a very difficult situation very high risk in, um, uh, commodity to, to handle and to have your staff members handle so my advice generally would be to either shy away from cash as far as possible within your business um, and if it's unavoidable have very very strict controls and policies for your cash flow because it's very easy to lose a 10 rand here and a 100 rand there and eventually all of these add up and you've lost a million so when you're using cash flow be very careful and be very strict about it the ideal for me and i try and use this in my business as much as possible is to only use efts because then there is a paper trail and the paper trail is pretty much managed by the bank your banking institution um, EFTs is one of the easiest ways to keep a record of payments that you've made and the bank will obviously keep a record of funds that you've received then it's just a matter of allocating those to the correct supplier and, and, and customers but in general when referring to cash flow in, in, um, in business the principle is usually that it's cash and cash equivalents which means the physical actual notes and coins cash but also your your currencies such as your, your money market accounts and bank accounts um, credit card account balances um, which is technically a, a non-current or a current liability but the access and the, the available balance in your credit card balance that's one of the items that's considered a cash equivalent. Your actual bank balance, if you have a debit balance, that is considered a cash equivalent. Um, so cash and cash equivalents are usually referred to by me and a lot of other businesses as cash, um, not necessarily the actual cash currency. So when you're referring to cash flow and your cash flow forecast, all of these cash and cash equivalents should be taken into consideration there. And you're always striving for a positive cash flow. In some cases, a negative cash flow is not necessarily a bad thing, but then again, the same principles apply as to when you are using a liability, when some liabilities can be good. The principle is that if you have a negative cash flow, there should be positive cash flow that comes from that in the future and though this can't be guaranteed the probability of a positive cash flow should be high enough for you to satisfy the business owner um, or any person you know relatively knowledgeable on topics of accounting and business management so when purchasing a new vehicle and you're paying for it cash the contraindication would be you're not buying it through a liability or through a finance opportunity and as a result, you're, you're not paying the interest on that. So your pro is that you're using cash and you're not paying interest on, on, on top of the vehicle cost. The negative side is that you're using cash. So you're not earning interest and you could have maybe utilized that for an investment that has another higher internal rate of return or another 
higher return of it, uh, return on investment ROI. So, when using your cash, when when managing your cash out, um, the principle is that it should be allocated or, or applied um, on on something that's going to generate more cash. Positive cash flow is always a good idea, but again, there's there's also the saying and the adage that says too much of a good thing is not enough, or is not a good. Too much of a good thing is not good either. Now, having tons and tons of cash in your bank account is not a good thing either. Yes, it's beneficial. Yes, it's useful, but you could utilize that cash for something better. If it's just cash in, cash in your normal banking account, investing that into a fixed deposit term for six months or something can generate a higher interest rate, which brings in more money. It brings in more cash. Yes, you're not able to use that again in the in the short term, but it will bring in more money. Um, essentially, then growing growing your business or, or growing your cash flow. So the principle is when when you have too much cash, that's a risk. When you have bad cash flow, in other words, your cash flow is but very small or it's negative, the ideal would be to improve on that. And as a result, you're always looking into to finding ways to improve your cash flow through generating more sales and not... Well, there's, there's typically two ways that you can improve your cash flow. Um, reduce the amount of credit sales that you have, reduce your creditors, so get, or not of creditors, debtors, by making sure they pay on time regularly before you, you're able to, or before you have to make a payment yourself, um, because that generates positive cash flow when people actually pay you when they have to. But also to be strict with your expenses um, and your expenditure, you don't want to you don't want to be stingy, but you just want to, you don't want to be wasteful. So if you have to pay a supplier for um, or a consultant to do some work for you, pay them to do the work for you, and that's useful. But don't go and look for a consultant so you can pay them. Um, no, consider a consultant to and, and the benefit they will provide your company or your business or individually, and as a result, then. That consultant will be a beneficial expense and the cash flow although albeit the cash outflow now will be a cash inflow later and that is the principle that's what you're looking for my name is Jacques Talliard this is Pretier Accounting Services and I hope you have a great weekend